be safe outside. I'm here with you all. Um, I know it's a tough job, but the one, the one element of, of, of individuals that can turn this country around is right here in this room. What you all doing right now, we have a country to defend. And I'm honored to be part of this unit. Let's go outside there, try to make this country safe, be safe out there. And I'll take a line from a movie, most of the TV series, most of you all wouldn't know, because you all might be a little too young, but TV series called Hill Street Blues. <laughs> Ask you all to go out there, do it to them before they do it to us, but do it within the law. Just remember that. Okay, be safe out there. This exercise, Operation Strike Back, it is something that this is the first that we had for the year. And from what I have seen, I think it is probably <clears throat> one of the largest operations we have seen for a very long time in the Toronto Tobago Police Service. It's over a thousand officers over the last 48 hours. I wish to commend each and every one of you all for the dedication, the effort, the professionalism that you showed in the performance of your duties over the last 48 hours. There were a number of different things that, that we can look at to show the benefit of this operation over the last 48 hours. It, showed, it, uh, it ensured high visibility. There was a powerful deterrent. And we basically locked down the country. I think it was very important that this weekend we had to keep it locked. You know, many times people look at statistics and they look at homicide being the catalyst towards crime in a country. I just want to throw something at you that at this same time last year, there were over uh, looking at the first 12 days of the year in 2018 to 2019, there was a comparison of 25 to 26 homicides last year in comparison to 11 this year. So we are going at almost 70% almost plus in a reduction in homicides so far this year. And there's a turnaround. We are turning it back. And again, many people will always continue to criticize us. But what we have to do is to stay strong focus and know exactly what our objective is. The armchair wannabe law enforcement of, um, experts, let them stay in their armchairs. Let them feel that they can fix TNT by going on a computer and speak. We intend to fix Trinidad and Tobago by doing what it is we did over the last 48 hours. We have shown that we are Trinidad and Tobago's finest. We have dedicated ourselves where many persons were home with their loved ones for the last 48 hours. As you will see here, the bag says, we, we did not sleep for the whole night doing what was required to ensure the most fundamental rights of citizens would be adhered to, that is safety and security. What we are doing is basically pegging back criminal elements, where for far too long, criminals actually felt that they controlled this country. No turf, no street, no block belongs to any gang member or gang leader. And what we are continuing to do is to ensure that the rights of citizens will be adhered to that citizens can feel safe, could feel secure, and knowing that we operated in a very professional manner as we did over the last 48 hours and that we will continue to do. There were a number of seizures we have. We will give you more the, to the media. You'll get more data very soon pertaining to the number of arrests, um, warrants issued, roadblocks, DUI, 
other um, and seizure of weapons, ammunition, and illegal drugs. What I can also state is that there are many exercises over the last 48 hours dealing with DUI and basic roadblock checks. And what we've seen is a, a, a reduction in persons actually being apprehended for, for those offenses, which means also that citizens are now starting to adhere to their own responsibility. And what I would also ask citizens is that the men and women of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, they are dedicating themselves and doing basically what it is they need to do. At times, willing to give their lives for law, for law abiding citizens. And all that we ask citizens to do is to support us, to believe in us, and to give us that information. I think we're in the right direction. And again, to close off, it was a very long 48 hours. It was tough, but you all did what was required. We locked down the country. This was a very powerful exercise. We did what, what we needed to do. And to the men and women of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, I thank you. Good job.